Hi, welcome to Pedigree Place Spend Breakfast. Come on in. I'm Lori Donaldson. I'm the CEO of the Pedigree Place Bed and Breakfast. CEO stands for Chief Enthusiast and Owner. I've been here for about four years now and we're standing in the dining room where we serve our wonderful gourmet breakfast each morning. The Bed and Breakfast is located in the Pettigrew Historic District in downtown Greenville. The house was originally built in 1921 by Mrs. Ida Bates Green. I have five wonderful guest rooms in the bed and breakfast. They're all decorated individually. They each have their private baths and their own unique style. Um, let me show you around the place. This is the sitting room area. I have all sorts of magazines about the Greenville area. I have a binder over here on the desk. It has about 50 menus for all the downtown restaurants. This is my sunroom. I do breakfast out here for family groups or couples who've just gotten married. I also have business guests who'll set up their laptops and work out here. We're in the heart of the bed and breakfast in the kitchen. And this is my chef, Jeanette. She's the one who creates all these wonderful masterpieces that we serve for breakfast. Mmm, banana split waffles. The private entrance for the guests. Um, they can come in from the side through my private parking lot out back. And each guest gets their own key to the house so that they can come and go as they please. Here's your key. Let me show you to your room. This is the brass giraffe. It's the only room that I have on the ground, ground floor, so it's very private. It's got a wonderful rainforest shower that comes down from the ceiling and has a one-foot shower head. It's almost like having a spa experience. It's got an out of Africa decor. It's got leopards, it's got giraffes, it's got elephants. And the robes in the brass giraffe are their own unique leopard print. Let me show you the Chantilly. It's got a country, and country Victorian theme. It's got his own little TV cabinet. The tub is set up so that you're walking out into the garden, but instead of the garden, it's the tub. Welcome to the Rosamond. This room has an antique clawfoot tub and shower. It was a kitchen in one of the previous lives when the bed and breakfast was an apartment. It's a very large bathroom, but a very small kitchen. This is a corner room. It's named the Rosamond after Rosamond Pilcher. Um, she's a British author and I have all of her books on the bookshelves. We're in the Carolinian. It's named after the Carolina Blue Walls and it has a Charleston theme. This is my honeymoon suite. The Carolinian has its own balcony off of it, complete with a table and chairs. This is the Carolinian jacuzzi tub. It's big enough for two people, and it's complete with its own bubble bath and its own yellow rubber ducky. This is the last room, the green room. It was the master suite in the original household. As you come in, the bathroom is on your left, complete with its own little chandelier. The master bedroom has a king-size four-poster bed. This is a feather mattress that we poof the feathers into a big mound. And so your job is to jump in the middle of the bed and the feathers are all spread out and it's like sleeping on air. One of the unique features about the green room is the little separate sitting room with armchairs and TV. And then on the other side, there's actually a second bedroom with its own bathroom. I have all the amenities. I have TVs in each room. I have wireless internet, not only in each room, but all over the house and in the garden. I've got a coffee pot set up. The first person awake in the morning hits a button, makes a full pot of coffee. Would you like to try a homemade chocolate chip cookie? This is a 1929 vintage refrigerator. Still works. Stock with sodas, bottled water, half and half for the coffee. Everyone's welcome to help themselves on top of the refrigerator. There's no phones in the rooms, but you're welcome to use my cell phone. Please don't call Australia. <laughs> we go all out, all out, and put our hearts into making the experience for our guests the best they've ever had. Thanks for coming to Pettigrew Place Bed and Breakfast. I hope you'll come stay with us again. Bye.